married to my uncle. So I am related and we're married. Um, we can't help who you fall in love with. I just so happen to fall in love with my uncle. No one can tell me this man does not look like Bruce Willis. He's gorgeous. Uh, his stepson is not as good looking as him and not as rich and not as good in... I'll just leave it at that. Yes, I did marry my uncle. My uncle is my uncle because he was married to my dad's sister since before I was born. And my uncle, who I used to call uncle growing up for years and years, as a child, he basically brought me up. He is now my husband, so I can't call him Uncle Jeremy anymore. I have to just call him Jeremy. Sometimes I do accidentally call him Uncle Jeremy, but it's a habit of a lifetime. He's been my uncle since the day I was born. It's perfectly normal in the UK to get married to your uncle. Marrying your uncle is like part of British culture. It's not unusual. So I'm finding these comments about people getting shocked that I married my uncle. Like quite unusual because I'm not used to it. So I'm assuming all of these comments are coming from like American people or people from the European Union. I don't know. But yeah, I married my uncle and I'm so glad I did because he keeps me in a luxurious lifestyle. All of my clothes are designer. I go on holiday when I want. I mean, it's just amazing and the fact that he was married to my auntie first literally doesn't bother me at all because I love him I love his money I mean I I just love him true love is rare to find in the UK a lot of people do turn to their family members and the reason they do this is because they know that their family members are decent lovely people because they've grown up with them so they know that if they marry them they're going to be decent and treat them well and it does help that he's rich yes but that isn't why I married him it is my husband's 74th birthday today. So to celebrate, I have invited my new boyfriend over for a meal. Obviously, I can't celebrate with my husband because he is in the hospital after having his 15th heart attack. But I have checked with my new boyfriend and he is coming over. He is more than happy to celebrate with me. And he has told his pregnant wife that he has got a work trip. So me and my new boyfriend will be raising a glass to my uncle Jeremy, aka my husband. This is a damn sight better than his last birthday. Um, on his 73rd birthday, he did find out about an affair I had. Now, unfortunately, I did burn my kitchen down yesterday, trying to make toast for the first time. So I don't have an oven at the minute. So I'm probably just going to, like, buy a takeaway and just pretend I've cooked it. Because like, I am trying to impress him at the minute, and the toast didn't go very well. So bottoms up, Jeremy. You old g Hope you're having a nice time in hospital. I'm living the dream while you're there. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. This is way too much information. Did you just hear the same thing with me? We're talking about her marrying an uncle and then the uncle used to be with someone from a family, from his auntie, and then the auntie is like... I'm confused. I already lost track, but let's go back. And then her husband used to be his dad's best mate. No. His dad was his best mate on, on, on the wedding. I am so confused. Did you follow this as well? I mean, this is so much information. But I am kind of sad to know that her husband is in the hospital because he had an heart attack by knowing that her auntie had an affair with another guy and then his kids, their kids, are actually theirs. God, this is too much for me. It might be too much for her, I mean, but she kind of seems okay talking about it. And then it might be lightweight now and it would be comedy-ish conversation, but it's quite hard to take all of this information. And then it's just too much drama for one family only, isn't it? Thanks for watching Story Trender. Don't forget to like and follow.